The signs of HIV are generally similar for both men and women, although there may be some variations between the two genders. In women, HIV can cause specific symptoms that may indicate the later stages of infection. Changes in menstrual cycle, such as lighter or heavier bleeding, skipped periods, or severe PMS, may be caused by stress, other STDs, or the virus's effects on the immune system. Lower belly pain could be a sign of pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, which can also cause unusual vaginal discharge, fever, irregular periods, pain during sex, and pain in the upper belly. Vaginal yeast infections are common in women with HIV, causing thick white discharge, pain during sex, pain when urinating, and vaginal burning or soreness. Although not a symptom of HIV, cervical cancer can be an AIDS-defining condition, so women with HIV should be screened annually and treated if necessary. After being infected with HIV, you may experience flu-like symptoms such as fever, fatigue, muscle aches, night sweats, rash, sore throat, and swollen lymph nodes. Both men and women with HIV can also get a yeast infection in the mouth, known as thrush or oral candidiasis, which causes swelling in a thick white coating over the mouth, tongue, and throat. Some people may not have any symptoms of early HIV infection, but it's important to get tested if you think you may have been exposed. If you believe you've been exposed to the virus in the past couple of days, see your doctor or go to the emergency room right away. They can prescribe medications called post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, to prevent HIV infection, but they need to be taken within 72 hours of exposure for them to be effective. As the virus makes copies of itself in your body, you may start to feel better even though you don't have any symptoms. The good news is that taking antiretroviral therapy, ART, medicines as prescribed can keep you healthy and prevent you from spreading HIV to others. This means you can stay in this stage for decades and live a regular lifespan. It's important to be open with potential sex partners about your condition and encourage them to get tested for HIV. And remember, using a condom correctly every time you have sex can protect you from HIV as well as other sexually transmitted diseases.